Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here at weatherweb.net with a rapid update for you issued at 9 o'clock on Friday morning the 31st of January. And as we head into another weekend of flooding rain is already arriving through Ireland. It's coming into the western parts of Wales, south west England at the moment and this will be tracking its way eastwards through the course of today bringing some heavy periods of rain. So we've got flooding caused by rain, but also a risk of flooding caused by high tides as well, particularly affecting western and southern Wales and also parts of southwest England as strong winds develop. Now, these are the uh, tide times, the high tide times for Aberystwyth in western parts of Wales. And really the most important part of this, by the way, these times are from uh, geographics tides. And uh, most important ones here are here, which shows us a high tide tonight at 5.32 metres, this one on Saturday morning, 5.66 metres. Again on Saturday evening at 5 to 9 in the evening, 5.34 metres. And then on Sunday morning at 5.63 metres. These are the ones that are coinciding with the big Atlantic swells. So let's look at rain first of all. This is the situation this morning. Here's that area of rain that we've just seen on the radar heading its way east. And that continues to progress eastwards as we go through this afternoon bringing heavy rain for many, and then eventually we'll be clearing the southeast and eastern parts of England by the time we get through to the early hours of Saturday morning. But it's this feature out here that we're really interested in after that. Because the rain that we see through Friday and Saturday does cause surface flooding. I mean, it's just not taking much now, particularly across England and Wales, to generate flooding. But it's this feature here, look, at a low pressure, which is at about 946 millibars on Saturday morning, tracking its way eastwards towards Western Ireland. And then by midday on Saturday, it's centred just to the northwest of Ireland. And you see the strong winds on the southern edge of that driving in this large sea swell into the western parts of Wales and southwest England, as well as bringing very strong winds. Those on top of high tides are what's going to cause the problem. By three o'clock on Saturday afternoon, we have this situation where we have the strongest of the winds within this sort of zone here. We're looking at 70 mile an hour plus gusts affecting western coast, probably 60 miles an hour across parts of the Midland, southwest England, and perhaps uh, running into southern England as well. And then by Saturday evening, the strongest of the winds crossing Wales through the Midlands, central southern England, heading towards East Anglia. They will have started to blow themselves out a little bit by then, but we're still left with this problem of this big swell coming in from the west. So these are the wind gusts then. These are the gusts for this afternoon. So this is for Friday. And uh, you see here that we're looking at 50 mile an hour gusts even this afternoon, but... The main problem arises on Saturday. This is uh, Saturday morning winds, and you see them starting to come here from the southwest. The wind gusts between 6 in the morning and midday tomorrow clearly showing this area of 70 mile an hour winds here, here, moving their way into the channel, uh, into the uh, Irish Sea here, and also some pretty strong winds here, look, getting into the western parts of the channel. And then those strong gusts dragging their way eastwards on Saturday afternoon with 50 to 60 mile an hour gusts, even potentially in land by then. And still those strong winds in the Irish Sea, 60 to 70 miles an hour, even through Saturday evening. But of course, it's the swell that we're really concerned with. What I've done here is just zoom out, show you the North Atlantic. This is the position for midday on Friday. And uh, notice this big swell area out here in the west, in the uh, central part of the Atlantic, west of Ireland. We've got uh, swells here of 12 metres. Then as the sequence of charts progresses, you'll see the swell gradually increasing, moving towards... Ireland and then hitting Ireland early on uh, Saturday morning. These are 18 metre swells, so basically 60 foot waves to the west of Ireland. And if we just zoom in a little bit closer towards the UK, you can see them here. Here's that 18 metre swell, but watch this region here because you'll see the numbers increase through Saturday as the swell pushes in ever closer, driven by those strong winds. Of course, they're lifted even higher because of low pressure. And, of course, the big problem is potentially with those high tides too. And you can just see how those big swells forecast to affect Southern Ireland, Western Wales 
and getting into the uh, western parts of the channel as well, even down into the Bay of Biscay as well as western parts of Ireland. So what you need to be doing over the next few hours, keep your eye on the Environment Agency warnings. Please, if you're affected in an area by flooding, listen out to those warnings. Be aware of the phone calls that the Environment Agency make to you to warn you of flooding, particularly in those coastal parts of Wales and South West England. And of course, we'll keep you updated throughout here at weatherweb.net. Don't forget, you can follow us on Twitter at WXWeb. But for now, thanks for watching. And if you can, try and keep the sun shining. Bye for now.